So where we're at right now, this is called the Fountain Square Theater. Um, it's literally one of my favorite places in Indianapolis because there's typically a band, a lesson. Um, I started out just as a dancer, but eventually I started teaching here. I started emceeing, DJing. Swing dancing, I would say, is joyful, passionate, energetic, goofy, and athletic. And it, to me, one of the most important pieces of my life because it allows me to express my joy in movement and with others and to share it with others. Swing dancing came from African-American roots, right? Which is very close to my heart. Swing dancing emerged from a time of depression when there was little joy to be had. During the pandemic, I saw an opportunity to learn more about a field that was always interesting to me. And so I had the opportunity once 1150 came around to take the plunge. And how I think swing dancing and cybersecurity come together is because they both have the concept of people at the center. Cybersecurity, there is a technology aspect where the end goal is to protect people, to protect their data, to not bring them grief. Swing dancing is the goal, is to bring out the joy in others. When you have it be a people-centric notion, I think that that really brings humanity to both of those aspects. As you continue along the program, you will get confident in understanding how exactly you can make a positive impact through cybersecurity. One of the challenges I've had to work through internally is understanding I am smart enough and my my classmates are also smart and we're all working together. When I passed that first test, I knew I could do this. I knew I could do this program and everyone else can too because the instructors really do give you all the tools you need in order to succeed. If has literally changed my life and given me opportunities I wouldn't have had otherwise. I really hope that you'll make the choice to let them change yours too.